final thought on this <coughs> two currency system. Say that I buy a MacBook Pro, which costs like three thousand dollars, and um, can that be both clean and dirty currency? Because the MacBook Pro um, kind of has the same amount of raw materials as, say, my Chromebook, which costs two hundred dollars, but it's way more expensive. Um, yeah, it could you could actually um, have it both because the the main idea is that we want to put a price on the consumption of the items. Um, is that difficult to start getting into, um, like having two, having multiple prices for one item that's a luxury item? Yeah, but I do think that luxury items should have two prices on them because they're so expensive. But would my Chromebook be 100% um, dirty money? Yeah, which is the current, okay, so how do we do this? Well, we have the dollars that are currently every money and that's, that's what we count as dirty money. And then we have a new currency for like, it's like food stamps, but it's not food stamps. It includes food stamps and um, it includes um, services and stuff like that. And then we have, <laughs> if you're in the service industry, you have two, we have two different exchange rates. One for in-demand jobs, like doctors. We need doctors. Okay, then you get a special exchange rate um, for your clean to dirty money. And, but we don't have, but, but say that you're a, um, you're a lawyer and we don't need lawyers anymore we don't need as many lawyers, then you get a different exchange rate. Similarly, okay, so when, I, when we're talking about these things, say that I have a guitar that sells for $4,000 because it's a person that, <clears throat> in a sense, is doing a service because they're working very hard making a Collings guitar that is a, the most beautiful sounding guitar of all time, and they deserve to um, be able to sell it for people that have um, a lot of um, clean energy money. So um, would they be able to sell their calling guitar for both clean and dirty money? Yes, um, because of the amount of service that's involved with it. Um, so I, I realize that we're starting to, like we're getting into a very uh, difficult area, which I feel like there's gonna like for like, we're gonna have to have people that are saying, here's the minimum, um, here's the required dirty money for your, for, your, for your item that you're selling. For this, you're, you, this requires, um, Six hundred dirty dollars, but everything else can be paid for in clean dollars. But uh, that would be like all computers, like all computers that are under six hundred dollars require dirty money. Okay, so I realize it's complicated and it's very difficult to um, to do this. But I also think that this is this is got this has got to be our solution for a new economy. I know that you guys are pissed about me talking about the history of inventions today. Uh, on a day that I invented a new type of economy. And um, I don't think that's a coincidence. I think that's because it's important to get across these uh, this, this notion that um, you, you should see you see where all the inventions came from to, because you should appreciate us because um, certain Asian countries especially um, have this notion that we're the problem, we're not, that, and that we're not part of the solution, uh, and um, that they're the solution even though they haven't invented much at all. Um, but but it's, it's hard to get that across to them because, I don't know. I don't know why it's so hard to get across to the Chinese that um, you don't understand us, um, especially because you don't understand our history because no one understands our history because we have a fake history. The history that goes out to the world about the history of the world, complete crap. Um, that's why the Dark Ages existed. Um, that's why the, Alexa the, the Bibliotheca Alexandria burned down. Because a lot of history was erased. Um, that's why um, you don't fully, fully comprehend us. Um, but um, what you do have is an advantage because we have shared our technology with you and you do have um, greater numbers than us and you do have a, an efficient workforce. Another thing I was thinking about uh, gosh, I'm coming out with new ideas. Uh, the other day I was thinking about it. Um, if you're a government worker, say that you are going to work in a big government building. All government buildings that should be built nowadays should be, um, there should be uh, living quarters for the employees that are, that's close by so that you are, you are living and working there. Say that we like, and then everyone's going, you can't do that because, um, the government buildings tend to be manu be built in, um, in, in like big cities, so it'd be too expensive to to build there. And uh, what I'm telling you is, 
I need to get people off oil no matter what. And you should need to get people off oil. And I'm desperate to get people off oil because I don't know how to save my grandchildren and my great-grandchildren and my great-great-grandchildren and even my great-great-great-great-great-grandchildren. Like, I don't know how to make sure that there is a way to have food for them without taking extreme measures to get off oil. And that part of getting off oil is planning like college campus style work environments where you work right down the street where you can walk there. But like kind of like a lot of people live in New York city. People in big cities tend to not have to drive cars. Um, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know the, the problem is I can't like everyone's afraid of change and I don't know how to convince them to change their mind about wanting to elect someone like Joe Biden and Joe Biden is not going to solve any problems. Like the last person in the world that's going to come up with an, with an idea for a two-currency system um, when he has no economics degree is Joe Biden. Um, like we need someone that's going to come up with solutions. We need someone that's working with the smartest people in the world to come up with real solutions f for saving our children. But I don't know how to convince people to do that because I'm freaking nuts and I realize it. Like you guys are never going to get out over how nuts I am. Um, but you probably need to if you if you if you if you want to save the future